call this regular council meeting December the 12th, 2017 to order. Clerk call the roll. Uh, Mr. Cavode. Here. Ms. Walther. Here. Mr. Drees. Here. Mr. Halter. Here. Ms. Herbies. Here. Mr. Lee and Mayor Moore. Here. Mr. Lee has an excused absence. Okay, we have a moment of prayer by uh, Ms. Walther. Lord, we ask you to send your spirit of servanthood upon all of us here gathered this evening to do your work for the benefit of all in our community. We ask you to bless our elected and appointed officials so they may deliberate with wisdom and act with courage. Bless the members of our community who come here to speak before council so they state their cause with honesty and humility. Lord, we ask you to bless us all that everything we do here tonight will move you to welcome us one day into your kingdom as good and faithful servants. And we ask this in the name of our brother Jesus. Amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. We have the minutes of the regular council meeting, November 28th. Uh, anybody have any corrections? Move with, I move with, that we accept the minutes of the regular council meeting of November 28th okay. as presented. All right. <coughs> second so approved. Well, actually, we don't have to do we that. We don't have to second it? No. Okay. Okay. This is the time for residents to comment on matters before council. When recognized, please come forward to the lectern, give your name and address, then state your comments or questions. This is not intended to be a dialogue with council or village staff. If you have questions, the questions will be recorded and referred to the manager's office for a response. This will allow time for thoughtful and thorough consideration to be given to each question. Council meetings are recorded for ease of trans transcription. Comments are li limited to three minutes. Anybody? By way of introduction, my name is Patty Anvon. I live at 32 Chalmers Lane, which is in the heart of the uh, historic district in the center of the demolition activity uh, that was orchestrated by the people on this panel. Uh, in doing so, there, there were a numerous number of violations of law, of ethics, of open meeting law, of not following procedure for the planning commission and the responsibilities of con uh, council. If you're unclear of that, you can read the amended complaint that is now filed within the Hamilton County Police Complete Common Pleas Court. For the benefit of the community, I want you to know that I did file for an injunction on October 19th to stop this demolition. I am joined by various preservation organizations and other community members who are very appalled at the action you have taken place with. I do understand that there are six of you, only four of you voted for this. And now Mr. Uh, Forbes has actually got the nerve to file with the court that he can predict how all of you will vote on any given issue. So I'm going to go back to the letter from the National uh, Historic Landmark uh, Director who wrote in November, on November 3rd. We have been contacted by several local citizens of Green Hills who have expressed serious concerns over the proposed demolitions, offering information at odds with what we previously received from Ms. Kovac, from Mr. Moore, and from Beth Sullenberger. When NPS first visited the village in 2008 as an initial step in the NHO inquiry and designation process, it was made clear that demolitions of historic buildings had already occurred and newly constructed homes were shown to us. We expressed concern over the losses as well as misgivings about the compatibility of the new buildings as it affected the historical integrity of the district. For you to claim for even one instant that what you've got proposed for your redevelopment is somehow going to fit into our historic district, 
you are dreaming out in outer space. It is discouraging that many of the same concerns and issues that occurred eight years ago still appear to be present today after designation as an NHL. This concerns we expressed over the earlier teardowns and new construction were acknowledged as the NHL nomination process was undertaken, but ultimately it was felt that the national significance of the village, the entirety of the remaining resources, and the intactness of the original village plan and associated greenbelt outweighed <coughs> the loss of fabric. A strong foundation for preservation has been established in the historic overlay district. That's only if you guys would actually adopt a local uh, historic district. It is so hypocritical that you actually write official letters to the National Historic Landmark referring to our historic district, but none of you have the nerve to actually designate okay. one. Time's up. Thanks, Ms. Antoine. You are disgraceful. You are an embarrassment Thanks, to Thanks. Your time's community. up. Have a seat. Your comments are always appreciated. Okay, moving on. Uh, reports of village officials. Municipal Manager Yvonne Kovac. Thank you, Mayor. Um, I do have a number of things I wanted to go through with you tonight. Um, first on your agenda, it was indicated that we would have information today regarding the uh, property and liquor liability insurance. Uh, we did, in re did indeed receive the information yesterday. There were <coughs> three quotes in total, um, two of which we are going to give strong consideration to. Um, Mr. Dees may want to cover a lot of this, but I did want to let you know that the legislation is in front of you tonight. We have worded it um, that would we'll authorize an annual premium up to $61,000, uh, depending on our final selection. So I'll let you say a few more words about that when we get to that point. Um, the 2018 fee schedule is on. Uh, work with staff to come up with the proposed fee schedule. Uh, the biggest change is we have added a new fee for the market stand, um, which is becoming a popular location. And, and we're doing just comparable to the gazebo at this point in time to have something on the books. Uh, we do actually have a, a code section that we'll have to work on amending in the meantime as well. But this would get a fee for it right up front, so we'd have that in place for the new year. Um, the second one, uh, uh, I'm pr proposing a new rate for the golf course memberships. Um, and we're doing it for a couple reasons. First, it, it will greatly simplify the rate structure. And if you remember last year, we reduced the rates way down. Um, so the rate um, we're proposing is just a flat rate per membership of $150 for resident, $200 for non-resident. Um, and I actually don't have the schedule in front of me, but when you look at the golf, if you do look at the golf rates, you'll see that that's our lowest rate um, discounted rate, uh, that's like the senior junior rate at 150. So um, we had one membership that was two people, um, each paying 150 still cheaper than if they were paying what they'd be paying under our regular rates. Um, so it's still much reduced, uh, but simplifies everything I think for us. So we wanted to suggest that um, going forward for the golf course. Uh, we also added a rate for um, golf course, golf cart inspections for non-residents. Uh, we only had in our current legislation um, a fee for a residence and we want to incorporate non-residents now that the state legislation authorizes us to do both. So um, you'll find that on there as well. So if you have any questions, <coughs> uh, feel free to ask on that one. Um, our gas aggregation is also on tonight. Uh, we got yet another really good rate um, the new one is, and if you remember, the gas is the one that's actually on a formula. So this figure can change each month, but this is the starting point, which is actually lower than our last, the last time we renewed at the 4.11. We're now at the 4.014. Um, this is a 24 year program, 24 month, sorry, 24 month <laughs> program. It's a good rate for 24 yeah, right. years, right? Um, <laughs> And so this, uh, an interesting piece of information that our uh, broker gave us this year was a, there's um, a site that people can go to, apples to apples, and, and literally shop to see what, dish, if they can get, what, what's the lowest rate they can get. Um, and I'm really glad to say that they're not going to find one lower than ours on there. So we'll have that link put onto our website um, after the first of the year so people can look at it. They feel free to... Um, you know, when we do get calls on, well, is this really good rate? Especially when 
you know, you have all these people going door to door trying to convince the residents that, hey, we've got a better rate or your rate is ending, whatever. You know, this will be something they can actually take a look at and feel comfortable that we've got a really good rate. So, um, okay, just <coughs> learned yesterday that our uh, CDBG funding request that we put in a little while back, uh, ha it, it has been put into the preliminary plan for approval that has to go to the county commissioners. Uh, I believe that's after the first of the year, but we were funded in the amount of 45000 for the Home Improvement Repair Grant Program again. Um, so it's 15000 a year for three years. So okay. we're excited about that. That was a real successful program. Um, our demolition project is progressing as planned. Uh, for the most part, the remediation portion has been completed. The utilities have all been abandoned and or capped as required. Um, and the actual demolition should probably start within the next week, weather permitting. Um, our storage garage ceiling repair bin project, uh, we put that out to bid and actually extended the deadline for bids um, as we're learning uh, about a lot of options that we might have. We want to be sure we get um, you know, the best options for that uh, particular project. So we've extended it until January 8th. And the restroom and pathway project, again, if you haven't been by there yet, you'll be pleasantly surprised by that. Um, that's coming down the home stretch as well. Uh, all the following, all the uh, final, like little finishing touches sort of thing will be happening over the next couple weeks, weather permitting, uh, you know, painting that they have to do, so they might have to wait on that a little bit. I think the roof is, is or should be close to being done. Um, I know they still had, I think, like the gutters to put on, but it, it's looking really good. So if you haven't gotten over there yet, go go take a look at it. I think you'll like it. Um, new fire truck comes at the end of this week. And the chief told me today, we've been trying to sell a rescue truck for about two and a half years, and he does think he has a potential buyer for that now. So that's, that's really good timing. Um, so you should see that around very soon. Uh, we do have the new arts and crafts shop, Mackenzie's Workshop, will be opening down at the shopping center. They uh, went through all their paperwork, have everything they need to be opening up at 8 Endicott, where um, State Farm used to be. And then finally, the motor vehicle license tax. If you're not aware already, I wanted to make you aware that the county commissioners did approve a $5 increase um, in, that, uh, in the motor vehicle license tax, supposedly to make repairs to the Western Hills Viaduct and um, other bridges throughout Hamilton County outside of the city system. <coughs> so that's what I have for you right now. Did McKenzie's workshop indicate when they're going to open? I really do. As soon as possible, yeah. I think, was right. the indication that I got. Yeah. <coughs> Any other questions? Yes, I do. Um, Ms. Goldberg, um, I had received a um, question that it, um, I think is a, a legitimate question. Um, is there any chance that we can revisit the um, the pool passes there? Um, the concern is of um, some families that may not um, have the income in order to have the children come to the pool in the summer. Um, I pretty much everybody has an agreement that uh, idle children in the summer is a recipe for some kind of a problem. Um, and uh, to have a special amount for families that will be on that particular level so the the children could attend to the pool like a senior citizens <coughs> we have a different category for that whether that has been explored and or if there's a community block grant that can be used towards that and if this is a time if, if there is a time i'm just throwing it out there if there's a time maybe in january that we can revisit that uh, because if we have children that uh, they are young, too young to have a job and they are in the summer and they are out there, uh, a more constructive way for them most likely would be swimming laps or something like that. So I just bring that up to your attention because I think it's a worth thought. Right. Um, and I, I too had received a, a similar email to take a look at that. Okay. Um, I, you know, internally we have thought about it. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, we could evaluate it, but I, a couple of thoughts go through my mind, uh, the extent of the paperwork that would be necessary to verify income levels. 
Um, also, I, I can tell you that we've, I don't believe we've ever received a phone call from somebody who, you know, was pleading for a lower rate because they couldn't afford it. Maybe they're just not calling those, so that, that could be. Um, but we can certainly take Sometimes it's really hard for it. somebody to say that they need some help. Sure. Yeah, I, you know, yeah that's a and, difficult um, thing. And summertime goes together hand in hand with children and the pool. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, I would well, like to possibly, sure. uh, well, we can discuss this uh, uh, in January, the work session, but one possibility would be somebody step forward with a donation it could be applied that's true. to reduce mm -hmm. your that's rates. That's true. Yeah. That Do we have a category for a donation for, for needy families? Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Because the police have gotten some yeah. in that area. So okay. That's well, I just would like for the, the thought sure. to be entertained and <coughs> appreciate it. Thank you. Okay. All right. Law Director Jeff Forbes. Thank you, Mayor. Um, no report tonight. Okay. All right. Any questions? All right, I don't have any questions. <laughs> <laughs> uh, David Lumsden. Thank you, Mayor. Um, no legislation was passed at the previous meeting, so no legislation was posted. Okay. Chief of Police, Neil Ferguson. Thanks, Mayor. As you know, uh, Philip Beans became a full-time officer with us earlier this month due to the approval from all of you uh, at our last meeting. And recently, I thought I would report to you that he responded to Forest Park to assist that agency with the report of an aggravated robbery. The assailant was armed with a firearm and threatened the person with bodily harm. Um, the call was made to 911 and the suspect fled as officers from Forest Park approached. Officer Means responded to the vicinity to assist in locating the suspect and a foot pursuit ensued and the suspect with Officer Means in hot pursuit ran into rear yards on Cascade Road just adjacent to our jurisdiction. He spotted the suspect, uh, gave chase, uh, he apprehended him in the rear yard safely. Uh, he had the cash on his person that was taken in the robbery. He was able to keep up with the suspect, he jumped several fences in an attempt to escape and uh, wow. he was safely captured and taken into custody uh, before any other officers got there. And it's all a violent felony crime and took a potentially dangerous criminal off the street. So. Uh, I thank you for the decision that you made. I think he's a valuable addition to, to our force. This past Saturday, we had several of our officers who volunteered to go with the shop with the cop. Uh, it was at Walmart, and we uh, will be sharing when our full report is uh, sent to you later on this month, uh, some pictures of some very happy, smiling faces of some youngsters. Uh, we also have uh, partnered with uh, some members in our community have pointed out an indigent family that was not going to have a Christmas. Uh, and uh, Officer Patton and Officer Means uh, took that youngster shopping at our local Walmart. And uh, uh, due to some generous donations by some donors, we were able to fund that child's Christmas. Uh, this coming Thursday, we will be having a holiday dinner attended by uh, our on-duty officers and some that are just getting off. and. Uh, also, our Citizens Police Academy alumni. Uh, the dinner was the idea and is being paid for by an anonymous member of our Citizens Police Academy in appreciation for uh, past efforts. So we're looking forward to that get together and uh, we, we have a, developed a very good relationship with those in our community who have participated. Uh, we have always been one short of what we need in terms of uh, a taser and through a generous donation for equipment from a Green Hills family, uh, assuming you approve the appropriation tonight, uh, we will be ordering this tool tomorrow at no cost to the general fund. In terms of uh, our activities in the past month, we investigated six accidents, that's up from five in November of 2016. Four crimes, and that's down from six last November, 153 other inc incidents, we made a total of 506 contacts, uh, 253 of those were dispatched or received by telephone as compared to 270 last November, and 253 were self-initiated by officers as compared uh, to 526 last November. The department provided assistance to the public in 132 instances, assisted other agencies 23 times, we made 47 criminal arrests and 73 traffic arrests. 
and a full written report will be forwarded to you later this month. Thanks, Mayor. Comments or questions of the chief? What is the next class uh, of the uh, citizens? We are uh, shooting for a February class, assuming that we get a sufficient number of people to sign up. So if anyone is listening tonight, or if you know of anyone that might be interested, mm -hmm. please send them our way. The, uh, the applications are available in our lobby. We'll be happy to mail one out, or they're on our website. Is there going to be any announcement, like on the paper for January? or something like that so that people would uh, Yes, know we'll that make that's sure that that's on. included in the Green Hills Journal. Uh, is there, would it be appropriate in one call for that or not? Do you want to? Sure. Yeah, maybe use the headlines. We can use the village headlines instead and, and okay. send one, call, one okay. call for something more urgent. Yeah. Thank you. And it pays to hire those younger police officers that can jump fences. <laughs> we got a few that still can hop. <laughs> <laughs> okay, moving on. Uh, mayor's reports. Uh, we did the Christmas light judging, and uh, and since we did the judging, I've noticed other people now have put their lights up. But um, we've already gone by. So uh, passed. We have 170 certificates to be passing out uh, for the holidays. I have um, a mayor's court, uh, municipal court distribution. Uh, for the month of October, um, the county received $72, the state received $2,010, the village of Green Hills $9,779 for a grand total of $11,861. For the month of November, the county received $67.50. The state 1849.50, and the village 84.88, for a grand total of ten thousand four hundred and five dollars. That's oh, I do have one other thing. I got a letter from Duke Energy, um, and they're going to be putting in for an adjustment um, to the uh, PUCO for a decrease in. Uh, I know I had to read it several times to, uh, mm -hmm. to to see if this was correct, but a decrease in the gas distribution service rate, uh, 11 cents per month for the average customer, but I mean, it wasn't an increase, so that's all I have. Hey, for Mayor, um, is there any way to uh, contact them about uh, the replacement of lights in the streets. Remember that we noticed well, several we ones when we were driving around. Yeah, and yeah we have a system, uh, okay. and uh, you know, both uh, people can call up to the office. Brenda's got the she files it now, doesn't she? Just when she yeah, gets it PD from the police. Her, okay. okay. So not yeah. All the time. yeah. Many of them have been reported multiple times. Oh, I yeah. understand. That's what I know that there is a problem somehow yeah. with the. The status quo system that we have is there any other way to can't people also um, report them online at the Duke website since right. Duke is people responsible can do it, too. it appears the, the Duke website is broken I have asked oh. Brenda to investigate uh, a better way of doing that reporting we do have uh, several that we've reported a number of times and they still have not been repaired so we're working on that to see if we can first notify them that their website needs fixed <laughs> and second come up with a way that we could communicate so our residents can also follow up in addition to what we do. Okay. Why don't you try to connect with me later, Yvonne, because I've got a contact in their public relations department and maybe, maybe we could make some right. something happen, happen. possibly. Sure. Right. <coughs> in the good old days, yeah. Duke used to have a person assigned to all the communities, mm -hmm. which made it easy to get a hold of that person or had a yeah. contact person. Mm -hmm. and, and of course, we could <laughs> go down to could we forgo the 11 cents refund per yeah. month and get that get person back <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, right. the <laughs> okay uh, moving on uh, community development uh, Jeff Halder yes um, first we had to cancel our meeting on December 5th the plan is for us to get together and put a schedule out for the entire year in 2018 uh, next uh, council meeting uh, but we'll let everybody know about that a uh, uh, side note, I uh, want to thank um, Mike Castor and Glenn um, 
the common area just looks wonderful. I mean, the lights, I, I know at one point the lights would go up a trunk and then suspend out one branch, kind of like hangman style. Uh, it takes a lot of effort to put the lights up the way they did, and it just really looks nice. The whole event was really, really well um, received. Uh, we had kids coming through, I think over 180 cookies were decorated, maybe more. Um, but thank you for um, my wife especially, and also yours, uh, Barb, as well, for baking all those cookies, and I know a lot of other support went into that. So I thought it was a great event. We had nice uh, weather. The waffle truck, I'm s stealing your shit. No, go. <laughs> you, you, you got it. You're doing a great job. I, at the end, I thought, oh, I'll go get a waffle, and, and I went over, and he was sold out, and he says, I brought more than I did last year, and we sold out again. So that that's a good thing. That helps vendors come back. So. Uh, catapulting off of that. Uh, the shopping center is really starting to come alive. Um, the Green Hill Sandwich Shop, the Troubadour is beautifully decorated. Um, I know there's just a number of things over there that weren't there not that long ago. So I, I recommend, um, you, you know, I know some local companies have had their Christmas parties at the Troubadour. Keep supporting them. Uh, if you prefer to have a shopping center that's vibrant, alive, and functioning, it takes your support. Um, tell people about it, and it'll be uh, continue to grow and be a good thing. Um, I, from a community development standpoint, did um, the certificates for Light Up. Um, we really tried to be thorough. Um, as the mayor said, there were our people that were putting them up in uh, a couple days after that. Uh, but um, uh, I think it looks great around the village, and a, it's a good thing. Uh, let's see what else. And thanks to you for making those uh, for us again. No, You've no been doing problem. that for a number of years now, making those certificates up. Yeah, thank you. Uh, the NHL brochure and promotion plan is something we want to really um, examine in community development and see how we can get the word out about um, the NHL uh, designation. Um, we're also looking to develop a commercial code brochure. Uh, I know I brought that up last time, but we're going to sit down and, and see what we need to do uh, for that. I'm making an early plug uh, for next winter. Um, <laughs> I think that the winter banners that we put up um, have served their purpose. I think it's time for some nice updated banners that might have NHL designation on them. Um, so hopefully that'll be coming. And then the other piece of uh, work that we want to accomplish in 2018 is the new resident packet and update that. So that is our plan. Any questions? Or is that your job? My question would be why not, not from, from you. you. No, no, no. no. Not from you. you. <laughs> okay. Moving on. Safety. Melanie Hermes. Um, I am going to agree with uh, Jeff about setting up meetings for 2018 at the next meeting. So I know Glenn is on the committee with me, so bring your calendar at our next meeting and we'll get 2018 scheduled out. Um, I know some of the things we were talking about were parking issues over on Hand the over. west side. Um, <coughs> sorry, I have to drive on Winton Road to figure out which side is which. And then um, just kind of continuing that conversation and continuing to work with both the police and fire chiefs about any of their concerns. So, and then um, also if we are, since some of us are bringing our calendars next time, maybe we can um, plan on coming up with our retreat date at the next meeting as well. Um, and then when uh, the mayor mentioned about Duke, I did receive an email from the Greater Cincinnati Waterworks. Um, so everybody else probably did as well. It looks like they're going to move from quarterly billing to monthly bill billing starting next year. So um, I just thought that might be good information for the residents to know that if you've been budgeting for quarterly billing starting next year, it'll be monthly billing. All right, moving on, Recreation Cable TV, Maria Walter. Uh, we're having a meeting for the cable um, TV tomorrow um, at the uh, White Cross um, area, and um, we're going to have to plot out the uh, meetings for recreation. We have one uh, tentatively 
marked for January, uh, but I received the word that um, it might not be a, the adequate time because it's around uh, a long weekend and we need to check that as soon as possible. <coughs> uh, Mr. Collar needs to have uh, advanced time. Uh, we, we come in and we assemble not just the recreation for this particular meeting, but for um, ideas and thoughts on um, the Harvest Fest. Um, and uh, Mr. Collar is a main interior part of the, uh, of the whole the plot planning of the whole thing. Um, so I would like for uh, Mr. Lumsden if uh, he can check the calendar with uh, Ms. Kovac and you know let us know if there's a more appropriate date um, that we can put in our calendars with ink. Uh, we would do that, and then after that meeting, again for January, I will have the uh, meetings for the uh, rest of the year for 2018. Service okay. mm -hmm. Streets, Jeff Cabode. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, our November meeting had to be postponed, canceled. Um, Jack and I will be getting together as well and going through our schedules here in the next few months to figure out our, our layout for the upcoming um, year. So. Uh, come next meeting, we should have some dates as far as meetings coming up for streets and services. And that's all I've got. Right. Finance and audit, Mr. Drees. Thank you, and uh, I too want to thank everyone that helped with Light Up. Um, my name's on it, but <laughs> there's a whole lot more work that's done <laughs> besides me. And uh, for the record books, there are 25,000 lights on the on the uh, commons now. So, um, big thank you to the this streets and services and I'm not gonna try to even thank everyone because I'll miss people and I don't want to do that so you know who you are uh, we have not had a finance committee meeting since our last meeting um, I did spend uh, time uh, yesterday with uh, the uh, our insurance broker Rob Beglin and the manager uh, reviewing options for insurance um, Suffice it to say, when we finish it up, we're going to save some money. So that's a good thing. Good. Is that it? That's it. Yeah. Does anybody have anything for uh, Mr. Lee in our governmental? I do have a resolution that I'll be reading. Oh, okay. All right. New business. We have a resolution 2017-R37-SNS. Resolution authorizing assessments on certain properties in the village of Green Hills. Mr. Cabot. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Resolution number 2017-37-SNS. Resolution authorizing assessments on certain properties in the village of Green Hills. Whereas the village had given proper notice to the owners of certain real property in the village of Green Hills regarding the removal of vegetation, refuse, garbage, and or debris from the properties listed below. And whereas the owners of said properties did not take action to remedy the violations and therefore the village of Green Hills contracted to remove vegetation, refuse, garbage and or debris and now seeks to collect said expenses by authorizing the placement of a lien upon the lands and collected as other taxes. Now therefore be it resolved by the council of the village of Green Hills, a majority of which concur that section one that the village council hereby certifies that the cost of such labor together with the expenses relative thereto be filed on the return and statement to the Hamilton County Commissioners as an assessment against the properties listed and placed as a lien against the properties by the Auditor of Hamilton County, Ohio, as follows. Description 597-0080-0038-0011 Bachman, Jeffrey David Ward, cost $212.75. Section 2, all amounts collected as a result of this resolution shall be placed into the general fund of the Village of Green Hills. Section 3, this resolution shall be effective immediately upon its passage. Mr. Mayor, I, I motion or move to have this resolution approved. Second. All right, it's been moved and seconded. Any discussion? Hearing none, clerk call the roll. Mr. Fode? Aye. Ms. Walther? Aye. Mr. Drees? Aye. Mr. Halter? Aye. Okay. Ms. Hermes? Aye. Okay, resolution 2017-37-S and S passes. Next resolution 2017-38-S and S authorizing the municipal manager to purchase a 2017 Ford F-250 pickup truck through state cooperative bidding program purchasing program. Um, Mr. Cabot. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. 
Resolution number 2017-38-SNS, authorizing the municipal manager to purchase a 2017 Ford F-250 pickup truck through the state cooperative purchasing program. Whereas the service department is in, in, in need of a pickup <coughs> truck for street work throughout the village, and whereas the village has funding available for said truck in the streets construction, maintenance, and repair account. Now, therefore, be resolved by the Council of the Village of Green Hills, Ohio, Section 1, that the municipal manager is hereby authorized and directed on behalf of the Village of Green Hills to purchase a truck for the Green Hills Service Department from Lebanon Ford in the amount of $33,564. Section 2, that the finance director is hereby authorized to pay said vendor an amount up to $33,564 for this vehicle. Section 3, that this resolution shall take effect at the earliest date permitted by law. Mr. Mayor, I move for the uh, approval of this resolution. Second. Okay. And seconded. <coughs> seconded. Um, <coughs> we have any discussion? It is, in fact, a 2017. I'm just asking because of the year. <laughs> okay. Yes. Okay. Is this it will be paid for. Paid for, no, yes. no financing involved. No. Okay. Is this a replacement vehicle, and could this vehicle be used for snow plowing? It, it, yes, it will be used for snow plowing, and it is the, yeah, the curb pickup is defunct. Defunct. <laughs> what year was the current pickup? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I think I remember. You remember how old it was, Matt? I don't have it. it yeah, right it now. was old. Really Ten old. years. Ten years? Fifteen? Oh, at least, yeah. Not more than, yeah, at least 15. Is it the Dodge? Sorry, the Dodge? Oh, I know it hasn't run so much in time. Well, that one might be 20 years old. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't think we have anything there under, except yeah. for the more recent ones, all yeah. the other stuff. Okay. okay. 15 years or more. Clerk, call the roll. Mr. Cavote? Aye. Ms. Walter? Aye. Mr. Drees? Aye. Mr. Halter? Aye. And Ms. Hayes? Aye. Okay, resolution 2017-38-SNS passes. Uh, next resolution, 2017-39-F. Mr. Drees, at a resolution making supplemental appropriations and transfers. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Resolution 2017-39-F. Resolution making supplemental appropriations and transfers, whereas the 2017 annual appropriations that were adopted December 27, 2016, are to be amended, and whereas appropriations must not exceed total available resources of the village per Ohio Revised Code 5705.36A5, therefore, an amended certificate of estimated resources has been requested from the County Budget Commission. Now, therefore, be it resolved by the Council of the Village of Green Hills, Ohio, that Section 1, since certain actions are needed in the monies appropriated so to permit the Village of Green Hills to meet its fiscal obligations for the year 2017, the following items of expenditure to supplement the appropriations for expenditure for the year 2017. Fund 1,000, please, all other expenses, Prior appropriation, $1,330. Appropriation change, $670. Total revised, $2,000. Fund 1,000 administration, personal expense, personal services. Prior appropriation, $164,750. Change in appropriation, $1,750. Total revised, $166,500. Fund 1,000 finance, personal services, prior appropriation, $59,880, change in appropriation, four hundred. dollars total revised, $60,280. Fund 1,000 finance all other expenses, prior appropriation, $82,670, change in appropriation, $1,000, revised total, $83,670. Fund 1,000, law director, all other expenses, prior appropriation, $25,000, change in appropriation, $15,000, total revised, $40,000. Fund 2,081, drug enforcement, all other expenses, prior appropriation, $12,000, change in appropriation, $1,000, revised total, $13,000. Fund. 2901 police operating all other expenses prior appropriation $344,500 
appropriation change, $9,876. Total revised, $354,000. $376. Fund 2910 Banquet Hall, other, all other expenses, prior appropriation, $53,315. Change in appropriation, a reduction of $3,000. Revised total, $50,315. Section 2, that the following transfers of funds be made from previously appropriated monies from the general fund to the police operating fund amount $96,000. Section 3, this resolution shall take effect and be in full force from and after the earliest date allowed by law. Mr. Mayor, I move for the adoption of this resolution. Second. <clears throat> it's been moved and seconded. Any comments or questions? Okay, hearing none, clerk call the roll. Uh, Mr. Caveau? Aye. Ms. Walther? Aye. Mr. Drees? Aye. Mr. Alter? Aye. And Ms. Hermes? Aye. Okay, resolution number 2017-39-F passes. Okay, next one, resolution 2017-40-F, <coughs> resolution approving the annual permanent appropriations for 2018, Mr. Drees. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Resolution 2017-40-F, resolution approving the annual permanent appropriations for 2018. A resolution to make permanent appropriations for current expenses and other expenditures of the Village of Green Hill, State of Ohio, during the fiscal year ending December 31st, 2018, pursuant to Exhibit A, permanent appropriation for 2018, attached hereto, and by reference made a part hereof. Now, therefore, be it resolved by the Council of the Village of Green Hill, State of Ohio, that to provide for the current expenses and other expenditures of the Village of Green Hills during the fiscal year ending December 31st, 2018, the following sums be and are hereby set aside and appropriated as follows, namely, Section 1, that there be appropriated from the General Fund $1,991,305. Section 2, that there be appropriated from the Special Revenue Funds $1,540,000. $1,560. Section 3, that there be appropriated from the Debt Bond Retirement Fund $313,785. Section 4, that there be appropriated from the Special Assessment Fund $50,000 for a grand total of $3,895,650 for all funds. Section 5, and the village finance director is hereby authorized to draw warrants for payments from any of the foregoing appropriations upon receiving proper certificates and vouchers, therefore, approved by the board or officers authorized by law to approve the same, or an ordinance or resolution of council to make the expenditures, provided that no warrant shall be drawn or paid for salaries or wages except to persons employed by authority of and in accordance with law or ordinance. Section 6, any necessary changes be made to the appropriations below the legal level of control can be made by the finance director with the approval of the municipal manager. Any changes to the appropriation at or above the legal level of control require village council approval. Section 7, this ordinance shall take effect immediately upon passage. Should that say resolution? Yes. Oh, I'm sorry. Section 7, yeah. I'll modify that to say this resolution shall take effect immediately upon passage. Okay. Mr. Mayor, I move to adopt this resolution. Second. All right. Comments or questions? All right. Clerk, call the roll. Mr. Caveau? Aye. Ms. Walther? Aye. Mr. Drees? Aye. Mr. Halter? Aye. Ms. Hermes? Aye. Okay, resolution 2017-40-F passes. Next, uh, resolution 2017-41-F, resolution adopting the 2018 Green Hills fee schedule, Mr. Drees. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Resolution 2017-41-F, a resolution adopting a 2018 Green Hills fee schedule, whereas the village has determined that it is necessary to assess fees for certain services, and whereas council has determined that it is necessary to update the current fee schedule, now therefore be it resolved by the council of the village of Green Hills, Ohio, that section one, 
of the Council of the Village of Green Hills hereby adopts the fee schedule as set forth in Exhibit A attached here to and incorporated herein by reference. Section 2, this resolution shall be and is effective from and after the earliest period allowed by law. Mr. Mayor, I move for the adoption of Resolution 2017-41-F. Second. It's been moved and seconded. Any comments or questions? All right. Uh, clerk, just, call the roll. I just want that, that we bring it back uh, to uh, question that additional thought that I have yeah. here about the, uh, the children to be able to find a way to, to pay for the pool. Uh, Mr. 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 Cavone? Aye. Ms. Walter? Aye. Mr. Drees? Aye. Mr. Halter? Aye. And Ms. Hermes? Aye. Okay, resolution 2017-41-F passes. Next resolution, resolution 2017-42-L. Yes, Mr. Mayor, I have resolution number 2017-R42-L, authorizing all actions necessary to support <coughs> the continuation of the governmental natural gas aggregation program with opt-out provisions pursuant to section 4929.26. Ohio Revised Code directing the municipal manager to execute a supply agreement with Interstate Gas Supply, Inc. to continue a natural, uh, natural gas aggregation program beyond March 31st, 2018 when the current supply agreement ends. Whereas the Ohio Legislature has enacted natural gas deregulation legislation HB number 9, which authorizes the legislative authorities of villages to aggregate the retail natural gas loads located in the respective jurisdictions and to enter into service agreements to facilitate for those loads the purchase and sale of natural gas. And whereas governmental aggregation provides an opportunity for residential and small business customers collectively to participate in the potential benefits of natural gas deregulation through lower natural gas rates which they would not otherwise be able to have individually. And whereas this council finds and determines that it is the, in the best interest of the village, its residents, businesses, and other natural gas consumers located within the limits of the village to continue its natural gas opt-out aggregation program subject to the conditions of a natural gas supply agreement that will take effect on or about April 1st, 2018. And now therefore be it resolved by the council of the village of Green Hills, Hamilton County, state of Ohio that Section 1, the municipal manager is hereby authorized to take all action necessary to support the ongoing administration of the village's natural gas aggregation program, including but not limited to entering into a master services agreement, MSA, with the Interstate Gas Supply, Inc. Attach hereunto the incorporated herein by reference as Exhibit A to facilitate the sale and purchase of natural gas to consumers in the village's opt-out program. Section 2, that it is found and determined that all formal actions of this council concerning and relating to the adoption of this resolution were adopted in an open meeting of this council and that all deliberations of this council and any of its committees that resulted in such formal action were in meetings open to the public in compliance with all legal requirements including section 121 Point twenty two of the Ohio Revised Code. Section 3, that this resolution shall be in full force and effect from and after its passage and approval, otherwise to be in full force and effect from and after the earliest period allowed by law. Mr. Mayor, I move that we adopt this resolution. Second. Been moved and seconded. Any comments or questions? Hearing none, clerk call the roll. Uh, Mr. Cavote? Aye. Ms. Walter? Aye. Mr. Drees? Aye. Mr. Halter? Aye. And Ms. Hermes? Aye. Okay, resolution 2017-42-L passes. Okay, um, how do we want to handle, do, do, do we need to make a change in the, in this? Uh, because to address, yeah. to address it's that? It's number eight. Uh, yeah, it's, it's item number eight. Eight, okay, all right. So we can just proceed? We can just proceed. Okay. All right. Well, the next thing, uh, seven on the agenda, is a motion to appoint Glenn Drees and Jack Lee to the Fire, Fire Dependency Board. I'll make that motion if I need. Okay. I make that motion. All right. You need a second? I do. I second it. Okay. 
All right, Claire Collarole. Mr. Cavote. Aye. Ms. Walther. Aye. Mr. Drees. Aye. Mr. Halter. Aye. And Ms. Hermes. Aye. Okay, that motion passes. All right, uh, item number eight, uh, resolution number 2017-43-F. Uh, resolution awarding the 2018 insurance coverage brokered by USI Insurance Services, LLC, Mr. Drees. Mr. Mayor, Resolution 2017-43-F, Resolution awarding the 2018 insurance coverage brokered by USI Insurance Services, LLC, whereas the Village of Green Hills must have continuous insurance coverage and has been presented with an acceptable insurance proposal from USI Insurance Services, for 2018 coverage. Now, therefore, be it resolved by the Council of the Village of Green Hills, Ohio, or Green Hills, State of Ohio, that Section 1, the insurance policies brokered by USI Insurance Services, LLC, for the issuance of automobile general liability, police professional liability, public officials liability, property insurance, and other insurance as determined by the municipal manager in the name of the Village of Green Hills are hereby accepted at a cost to the village in the amount not to exceed approximately $61,000. A copy of the proposed policy is on file with the municipal manager. Section 2, the municipal manager is hereby authorized and directed to execute any and all documents necessary to implement said coverage. Section 3, the finance director is hereby authorized and directed to make payment to USI in an amount not to exceed approximately $61,000 for 2018 coverage. Section 4, USI is hereby authorized to render professional consultation with respect to insurance coverage for 2018. Section 5, this resolution shall be in full force and effect from and after its passage and approval. Mr. Mayor, I move for the adoption of this resolution. Second. Okay. Been moved and seconded. Any comments or questions? Um, just want to note that in a, section one, there was a typo in the written words, but uh, the numbers were Dries correct. Read it correctly. Oh. The written words oh, it's were 61. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But the okay. numbers are correct. Yeah. Okay. Is this paid off at one time or do you pay this quarterly or how does this? Um, they usually out? send installments. And how does this measure up to 2017? How granular would you like me to get? Are you just thinking I about big just picture. It, <laughs> it's in, in general, the, co uh, the coverage is very comparable. Uh, we did not substantially increase any uh, limits of coverage. Um, as you recall, last year we had um, about $13,000 in savings. Um, and Best case scenario is, is we'll have $9,358 in savings over our current policy. It may not be that much because we asked for um, some modifications to the quote, and we'll see what those come back. But we're, we're going to have savings. I will, I will uh, go out on a limb and say we're going to have savings of at least five grand uh, over prior year. So. Good. <clears throat> Good job. Thank okay. you. Clerk, call the roll. Mr. Cavote? Aye. Ms. Walter? Aye. Mr. Drees? Aye. Mr. Halter? Aye. And Ms. Hermes? Aye. Okay, resolution 2017-43-F passes. Do we have anything for the calendar other than Christmas? Can you let us know when the village offices are going to be open in the week of Christmas? Sure. I, I suspect they're going to be closed on Monday, correct? Uh, Monday and Tuesday. Monday and Tuesday. Monday and Tuesday, okay. And then we close, uh, I believe, the half day on the 29th, and then we'll be closed on the 1st. Police department still open? We'll be here. <laughs> <laughs> Ms. Rayer, I'd just like to make uh, one comment. Um, if Kathy Lives is watching, that our thoughts and prayers are with you. And um, I think this, just you know, doing something small, was driven by the fact that every year she's done something for us. And um, uh, we do miss her and um, pray for her quick recovery. Is that it? Uh, well, right. happy Hanukkah, since today is the first okay. night of Hanukkah. Yes, it is. Oh. And yes, then it Merry is. Christmas. OK, uh, need a motion to adjourn into executive session with the village law director for the purpose of discussing pending, pending court action. Somebody so moved. So moved. 
Oh, okay. Second. All right. All the clerk call the roll. Aye. Mr. Devote. Aye. Ms. Walther. Aye. Mr. Drees. Aye. Mr. Halter. Aye. And Ms. Hermes. Aye.